channel. Today's video is going to be a room tour and I decided to do this video because a lot of you guys were commenting on my uh, first day of school get ready with me about my room so I decided to make this video for you guys just to show you kind of the overview of it and um, where everything or at least most things are from so I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what your favorite store to shop for room decor is. I think mine is going to be pretty evident in the video. And without further ado, let's get into the room. So just kicking off this room tour, this desk is from Furniture Row. And this little chair I just got from Big Lug. And then the pillow I got from Marshalls. Then I just keep my MacBook up here. This little white box here is from, I want to say this is from TJ Maxx, I think. This little sign right here I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then I just have my Bible and a little notebook that I got from TJ Maxx. <laughs> and then these two cork boards, I'm not sure where they're from, but I just use them to store all of my memories or things I need to remember. Like so this bookshelf, I got this at an antique store, so you won't be able to repurchase this exact one. This bookshelf, uh, I just painted it white. So this little picture frame on the top is from Marshalls, and I just have a picture of my friend and I at the beach. And then this pot, I'm not sure where it's from, but it's just my little aloe plant. This is my Yankee candle, and it's a pineapple and cilantro scent, so it smells really good. <laughs> Moving on to the second shelf, my mom gave me this little keepsake box. This little light box um, I just got from TJ Maxx. And then the unicorn head is actually a piggy bank and I got that from Walmart. This little basket is just some extra seasonal lotions and perfumes for like winter and fall. And then I have my two plants that I killed because I can't keep plants alive, but it's fine. So then I have my little box over here with my sunglasses in it. And I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So I displayed them and just a little fake flower next to them, and then all my books and awards are on the bottom shelf. All right, so beside my bookshelf, I just have this wardrobe thing. This is actually a family piece of furniture, so I won't be able to link this, but we just painted this with some chalk paint, and I'll try and link the chalk paint down below because it really did give a really nice finish. Okay, so this next quarter of my room, I just have this mannequin. I believe this is from Hobby Lobby as well. I just put this cute little jean dress on it from Forever 21. This is my piano. It used to be a passion of mine and now I don't really play it that much, but it's still in here because I do every now and then. This is just the Yamaha portable grand piano, or keyboard rather, if any of you are interested in that. And then this chair that I'm sitting on is actually from Dollar General. It's a little fuzzy stool. You'll get to see the other one a little bit better than this one. It's really cute and I think it was only $25. So if they still have those, I'll link them down below as well. And then these little string lights that are above, they go all the way around my room. I think they're from Lowe's, but I'm going to try and link the actual brand of the icicle lights. And I just hung those up with command hooks all around my room, the smaller ones, and you just stick the wire right in there. It's so easy. Moving over here, I just have this chalkboard. I actually live in the bonus room. So this room is where we have access to the attic. So this is like the little door that goes to the attic. So I decided it would be cute to accent it with some chalk paint and I just draw little doodles and little inspirational quotes on here. So this is the next portion of my room. This vanity is actually another family piece, so I will not be able to link this piece of furniture down below either. So the top here, I just have my makeup brushes. I got that little acrylic piece from Marshalls. Okay, and then this little spinning thing, I'm not really sure where it's from. If I can find something similar, I'll try and link it down below. This is my Zadro or Zadro, whatever, mirror. And it's just this little LED mirror. It's great for makeup. These little things I got from my grandmother and then I have my Tangle teaser. So I got this from Big Lot. This top drawer is just my makeup. The second drawer is just some palettes and some makeup bags that I like to travel with. And then the third drawer is just hair. So that's like my hair care products my brushes, headbands, scrunchies, all of that stuff is in the third drawer. And then the final drawer is split up between skincare and nail care. So I forgot to mention earlier, but that little tray there is from Dollar General, and I just have all of my everyday care products on there. All right guys, so my bed is once again another family piece, so that will be linked down below, but I did get this from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe, and it's just this yellow comforter, and it's really comfortable by the way. This pillow, I think, is from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And then my little pink funky. So this right here is my flower ball. I don't know if I mentioned 
this or not yet, but this uh, I DIY'd myself. You have to like it ties the entire room together. So this piece right here is from Marshalls. This rotary phone I got from an antique store, so once again, won't be able to link that. Uh, all of these flowers, all of the yellow flowers are from Dollar Tree, and the white flowers are from Michael. So now we have this little essential oil diffuser I got from TJ Mac, and then this is actually just the lid to a jar. I use it as a coaster, and I just put this little geode in the top of it to kind of act as a cute little coaster room decor piece. So I did mention that I'm in the bonus room, and that's what is this air conditioner is for. So this little shelf, I believe, is from Pottery Barn. This little tea is from Michael's. And then another plant that I killed. Picture frame over there with the lighthouse, which is my mom's. And then this is my dog's bed, but actually my cat uses it more so as my cat's bed. From BJ Maxx, I believe. These chairs are from Walmart. They're just the Big Joe beanbag chairs. And then I just have my extra smart water here. This is my mini fridge. This is just a little Cuisinart coffee maker. This I DIY'd myself as well. I just got fake flowers and glued them onto a tea cutout. That pillow is from, I want to say that pillow is from Marshall. So this little section right here looks really random, but it is my filming backdrop for makeup videos and hair videos. If you guys want to see my filming setup as a small YouTuber, definitely let me know. This is just an old shutter that I painted. And I painted uh, the word memories and calligraphy across the top. And then I took some jute cord and pulled it across three times and just put some pictures. Okay, so these little clothespins I just DIY'd myself. I just took and painted this with a paint pen. And then um, just hot glued a little shell that I have from the beach on them. Okay, guys, so this is just my TV and my fireplace. I don't know where this is from. The next thing I have here is my closet. I feel like that needs to be a separate thing, but I'll just show you guys. The inside looks like this. This shoe thing is from Dollar General. If you guys want a separate closet tour, let me know. These letters, you can find some close to them at like, like Target or Walmart or something, and I just painted them to make them go with my room a little bit better. This my uncle made for me. It's just a piece of barn wood with some jute cord and then a bunch of knobs on it. I feel like it could be pretty easily DIY'd. If you guys recreate anything that I've DIY'd, let me know in the comments down below um, and I'll be replying to that. Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like and before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. You can hit my watermark over here. On the bottom of the screen and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload i upload at 12 p.m eastern standard time on sundays and fridays thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one